Dan Davis, PJ Professional here at the Chase Golf Club. I'm joined again with Andy Caldwell. And today we're going to look at hip mobility. So thank you very much for joining me, Andy. No problem, Dan. Big problem for some of the guys that you uh, teach and yep. to all sorts of issues where they tend to overuse the upper body mm -hmm. and underuse the lower body. So by improving hip mobility, we can get them transferring weight and pressure in the golf swings much, much better. Yep. Okay. So if you lay down for me onto your back, again, Pilates block or pillow in situ here, hands cupped around the pelvis nice and tight because we don't want the pelvis to move in this particular technique. Dan's then going to swing his hips out to the side in one direction. So with this hip, we're coming into external rotation or turn out. With this one, going into internal rotation or turn in, both of which happen in the goal swing simultaneously. And then come to the opposite side for me. Again, keeping the lower back flat. Don't let the lower back arch or lift. And that forces range of motion onto the hips. Again, with this, around about two sets of 10 to 20 reps on each side. Nice slow control movement to begin with, but we can add speed um, as a variation or progression with this as well. Okay. All right, well done, Dan. And then the second technique is a four point technique. So if Dan comes into all fours for me, okay, and from here we're going to keep the back in neutral, okay, we don't want the back to round off when we're doing this technique. So you can only go as far back as you can keep the spine in a neutral position, and then Dan's going to rock back into his hips until he feels like tension and then come back out again. 10 to 20 repetitions there. And then the second technique is to bring the feet out to the side relative to the knees. This puts the hips into internal rotation. Just one word of caution with this, don't force the range if you get a sharp pinch in the front of the hip, just go to the end of that. So push to it, not through it. Again, keep the spine neutral. You can see here Dan's struggling a little bit to keep his spine in neutral now because we've locked it's up the hip. Tighter. Okay, and then back two sets of 10 to 20 repetitions there. And then the final technique is feet together, knees out to the side, as far as you can go there, Dan. That's good, keep the spine in neutral. This puts us into an external rotation, abductive position, and then again, sitting back. So you've got three different ways in which to clean up the hip mobility alongside the window washer exercise that we ran through first. Well done, Dan. Excellent work. <coughs> So that's really going to help you loosen up your hips so you can use your hips in the golf swing and get that dissociation between the hips and the upper body so you can load the, load the body, create more power and it's going to help you really use the lower body rather than trying to use the upper body too much and especially that move where you get into a position, you get to the top, can't use the lower body and end up coming over the top. Most common fault in golf so it causes the slice, the pull, um, some really sort of destructive shots on the golf course.